Greetings and salutations, Vault Dwellers. Alright, so I've decided to go ahead and make a new character. Uh, Alright, I made the character a while ago, but I'm leveling it up now. And we're going to do a completely new like setup and stuff like that. A new build, so to speak. Well, actually, yeah, we're going to be doing a new build. But, you know, I'm running across this one thing that I think I should really absolutely talk about. And I don't know if you realize this, but, you know, owning workshops at a low level, yes, it does open you up to some player versus player combat and stuff like that. However, however... Um, it can get you leveled pretty quickly. Um, I mean, it's not going to be like, oh, just by owning workshops, I'm just going to, like, super duper power level my character. No, it's not going to work exactly like that. But as you can see, we're going through the Defend Charleston Landfill event, and there were actually some turrets left over by the previous owner. It was unowned whenever I picked it up. I mean, I'm running around with hardly any caps. Like... I only got 28 right now. But if you have a good idea of where some cap statues are, you can go pick that stuff up. And plus, if you have to actually clear out a workshop, you're going to get like 20 caps at minimum. So you can go around just clearing the workshops, collect some caps, server hop, and clear it again. Collect some more caps and all those cap stashes and whatnot. But owning a workshop is great leveling experience because let's just say if i get out here and i start oh yeah that's right i'm gonna pull out this machete and get over here no there we go and we can start killing these things and get you know s some xp and plus once we get the event over and done with we get even more xp not to mention if you're at a lower level anyway you're going to be needing any any kind of junk or anything from these extractors because I mean I honestly don't have nothing on me really like oh my god there's a big old mess of them right here let's just get right into the middle and just start swinging these are the level 9 ones that's actually pretty cool now I decide not to go with the primary quest line which will take me into Morgantown um, mostly because I I've done that already and I just want to I just want to ease into it and level and you know do my own thing for a little while and then of course I'll uh, probably you know end up uh, going the the route to st start dropping the nukes doing that whole quest line but honestly there you go we got a bathtub plan right there yeah, getting these workshops is amazing I mean mostly because of all the stuff they can get. I just got the barn building set from taking over a workshop. Okay? So now I don't have to mess around with wooden walls. I can go straight to the barns. Bathtub, foot locker, metal box, modern painting, wooden desk, and we're dropping that. I mean, taking workshops is is a good way to not only level up a little bit faster, it I mean, look, we was almost at the beginning of level 9 right there. And all that XP, that's going to push us forward even faster. And I, I've been collecting almost everything down through here. I got, I started off with around here at the Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm. And then I just cut across here, went, went straight over to here. And I, I tried to fight the Grafton monster. I couldn't two-shot him. I, he actually killed me. So, I mean, I'm feeling the effects of, you know being a low-level player. I mean, it, it happens. And there's still a lot of things I'm going to have to do to get this, this player set up. This character set up. But that that's okay. I mean, it, it also doesn't hurt if you're all pretty and stuff. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You, got, you, got, you gotta get what you gotta get. I guess I'm like live for everyone that's around me, but there's no one really around me, sadly. Everyone's all off doing their own thing. Now, I wouldn't dare right now try to go PvP this level 38. I mean, I'm only like level 10. But, I mean, people are going to come. If someone wants to PvP me, I mean, they're more than welcome to. Um, I probably won't be there to 
fight them back. <laughs> I mean, let's just face it, I'm probably going to lose. However, last night, I managed to PvP uh, at, while I was like level 7 or something like that. Or level 6. And this level 16 came up to me. And uh, he tried taking my base. And I think I was all the way over here at the Gorge Junkyard when it happened. And uh, he killed me a couple times, but I managed to kill him one time. One time. And he dropped off his junk. Because apparently he didn't stash all of his junk. So I managed to get all of his junk. I consider myself winning that fight. I workshop took his junk. It was a lot of junk. And I stashed it and I left. So... Uh, just FYI, make sure you guys are stashing your junk before you go and try to take on other players. Even if you're trying to be it, kind of a douche, um, they they can definitely take you on if they get lucky enough. So <laughs> uh, make sure you don't have anything really nice to give them, like some junk. Because at lower levels, junk becomes really important. I'm telling you, really important. Ooh. And luckily, ooh, we got two fusion cores. Nice. Luckily, whenever we got onto the server, someone had already activated the Poseidon energy plant, so it's 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 actually working as intended. So it's it's shooting off all those nice, powerful electricities. So I mean, that actually helped out a lot, especially here in the Sunshine Meadows plant. I mean, just just perfection. And plus, whenever you have a workshop. Free fast travel, guys. Free fast traveling from location to location. You can't beat that. It, it it's amazing. Like it helps out a lot, so you can just teleport from one place to another. All right, let's see. I'm going to turn my audio off. There we go. That way, uh, no one. Can... And I actually managed to put this little thing up right through here i wonder uh we already scrapped everything most of everything that we have is right there ready to be did look i wouldn't have been able to bulk anything but then i took took on that level 16 at level like seven <laughs> he had so much plastic on him it just made me giggle uh, but that, that's beside the point. I, I thought that was actually pretty cool. But workshops are, are great. Workshops are important. Because they give you plans. It, it, it activates a lot of cosmetic things for your base. If, if you so choose that to be what you like to do. Base building and stuff like that. Now I think the barn and the metal. Is the only kind of uh, base stuff that you can actually really do. And I think the brick and uh the the actual uh steel uh base structures you actually have to buy from vendors so just keep that in mind all right cleared out this entire place i think there's someone over here somewhere oh i think l l norman level 59 he's like right over here i don't think there's a base over there i think he's just scaving out in, out in this little area and it it, it, it is kind of bad when you're low level but I'm telling you, like if if you know you can't take someone on, there are a lot of good people out there that'll look at you and be like, "Oh, he's low level. We should leave. We should leave him alone, or we should help him," which is great. Which I mean, it's absolutely great. But there are still some people out there. I mean, <clears throat> there's still some people out there that will, you know, not exactly be one of the nicest people that you run across. I'm, I'm I'm sometimes I'm I sometimes actually am a nice person. I'll go around and uh, because I do like to take a whole bunch of workshops and stuff. You know, I'll go around and uh, give people free plans and stuff like that. But it'd just be nice if more people was to go around and do the same thing. Don't be afraid to take the workshop, guys. I'm just saying, it, it is a good thing. But and then again, I mean, you can always just keep doing your little quests and. See, I still have to go all the way over there. God, that's, that's one heck of a run. It really is. But being such a low level, it's... Yeah. Still got a little ways to go. I'm thinking... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but I know we're going to have a high perception and a high agility. That's what I'm thinking that we should go with. And maybe average strength... 
and maybe slightly less endurance on the next one and uh average everything else but with a little bit extra luck i don't know it's gonna be an interesting build so i gotta i gotta do a little bit of work on it see how we can get this up yeah. so hopefully we might have, have, have a new build video coming up i know you guys like the last one the stealth ninja build which I, I i've been having a lot of fun playing that one but we're gonna we're gonna try to do something else all right guys i'm not gonna take any more of your time thank you very much for watching thank you for listening like share and subscribe for more content and of course Make a comment down below. I love reading comments and I love answering questions. You guys have a wonderful day. Wonderful week. Wonderful month. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flippity floppity side. Peace.